Hi and welcome back to the shop. A little bit of news today and then we're going to look at something that's arrived in the post. So the news is if you saw my recent video on making a croquet mallet, well I delivered it to the client and we tested it out on the, uh, the croquet pitch or whatever they call them and it's the first time I've ever done that and it was great fun knocking the balls about and it worked really well and she was really pleased with it. Well the bad news is in um, practicing with it later in the week she decided to try a shot uh, where she was working over the top of one of these steel hoops and for some reason or other she smashed the stem of the mallet on the top of the steel hoop and uh, she was surprised I wasn't surprised but the carbon fiber didn't like being smashed into a piece of steel and this was the result so I must say that's the shortest lived thing I've ever made Anyway, moving on from that, I've had a parcel in the post and I'm very lucky in that um, friends of the channel sometimes send me stuff and uh, I know from the label on this who it's come from so I'm going to open it up in front of you because I've got a, a sneaky feeling what it's going to be. Now this made its way all the way from Canada and I must admit I have already read the, the letter that came with it. So this is the first time I've actually unpacked what's inside. And wow, that's not what I was expecting. Look at that. That must be, I think, a Japanese style toolbox. Wow, it's got the maker's name on it and everything. And then that is the, the channel's friend, Will. Wow, thank you, Will. Fabulous. Sliding dovetail latch on there. Lovely figure in this wood as well. Oh, look how well that opens up. Lovely. And what have we got inside? Oh, now I recognize something in here which tells me what it is. Uh, you probably don't. So let's unpack these pieces and see what we find. Gosh, how well is this put together? I think I might actually need a knife. Wow, look at that. That's a handle. London pattern handle. And I recognize the fitting that's on the end of there. I think this might be a, another frame saw. But all fitting into this tiny little box. How interesting. Ah, oh, yes. Ah, oh, fabulous. They've even got a little leather washer on there. I can see we've got some nice blades in the bottom of the box as well. That's a coping skip tooth blade. That's going to be excellent for clearing out the waste in dovetails. Oh, gorgeous. One of the handles, one of the uh, frame sides. Lovely. Oh, that really is nice. And then we've got some thread for uh, tensioning the saw up. And the blades, as I mentioned, well, I guess we better put it together. Let's just see. There is a marking on here. So we get them the right way around. So that's going in there. Yep. And these things don't get um, glued together. They're allowed to move. As you tension them, there's, there's always going to be a bit of movement in the frame. And it takes up tension on the blade. Okay. Then we need handles I think it's universal for the handles either either end that's a good friction fit so you can turn the blade in the direction you want and it's not going to move all on its own so isn't that just lovely 
Let's pop the blade in. I want it to cut on the pull stroke. I really should have put my glasses on this morning. Get that in there. Yeah, there we go. Now Will says to pop this in the vise at this stage to uh, thread it, but I want you to be able to see what I'm doing and I think it's easiest if I just do it like this. We need, and uh, it's quite clear about this, between seven and 10 loops of this particular thread, which is supplied with it. So let's start there and go around one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and I'll give it eight. That's eight loops. Now I'll cut that off. Let's tie it first. There we go. Hopefully that's sharp enough. Yeah. So eight loops on, no tension in there. Then we pop the tensioning bar in, which I've dropped in the box. Pop that in there and start to apply some tension. Now then, when it stops, I want the wheel's name to be showing. So let's do it this way around. All right, no, this way around. Well, that's absolutely fantastic, Will. Thank you so much. I'm going to uh, I'll give that an hour just to let some of that tension ease itself in the, in the thread. And I'll tighten it up and I'll try it out on some dovetails. Still might be a little bit uh, a Well, as ever, in demand, let's uh, let's continue. Actually, what I've done is I've used uh, my very narrow kerf dovetailing saw and it's slightly thicker kerf than the coping saw blade in here so that's a lesson learned I should be using my other dovetailing saw in fact let's do that just get a slightly bigger kerf in there. I think that was sort of pushing its way through rather than cutting, but there we go. Super. That's really speeding things up. Let's try it in something else. So 
testing software was excellent. Testing in hardwood. Equally as good. Superb. I'm, I can't tell you how over the, how chuffed I am with that. That's wonderful. So Will, I'm very chuffed with this. Thank you very much. Uh, you wanted to know what I thought of it. Well, so far, excellent. Um, the whole package, the, the way it's presented, um, the box it comes in, the quality of the, the workmanship on it, quality of the fittings on it, all lovely, really good. And in those first simple tests that I did, <coughs> working really well, uh, really easy to use as well. So, fantastic little tool. I don't know whether you're going to be making these for other people, but if you are, uh, they're going to be very lucky to get hold of one. Uh, so, the news this week is uh, Janet's mallet had an accident. Um, I've received a lovely saw from Will. And the other thing is, um, I've now got a publishing deal for the book I've been writing. Um, still got a lot more to write in it, uh, so that won't be out until probably the end of next year. Uh, but uh, keep your eyes peeled and I'll give you some updates along the way. Okay, cheerio.